Check one, two, check one, two. Lesson 97, ratios. So you guys are gonna get this really well. Um, a ratio is a way of comparing numbers by division. Um, so the things written in purple are things that are about ratios and the things that are written in blue are kind of like an example of this one. So ratio is a way of comparing numbers by division. And then it says, if there are 12 boys and 18 girls in a class, then the ratio of boys to girls is 12 to 18, okay? And we say boys to girls, so you say boys first, and then girls second, okay? So it does the order, if you say boys to girls, then it has to be 12 to 18. If you say girls to boys, then it's 18 to 12, right? So it depends, the order that you do it matters. And then this says, we often write ratios as fractions. We write the term of the ratio in order from top to bottom, so like a fraction. The ratio 12 to 18 is written 12 to 18. And we read the ratio 12 to 18 by saying 12 to 18. Ms. Sparks, do I need to write all this down? Yes, you do. Then it says, we reduce ratios just as we reduce fractions. Since 12 and 18 are both divisible by 6, we divide each term of 12 to 18 by 6. So 12 to 18 divided by 6 divided by 6 equals 2 thirds. So the ratio of boys to girls in the class is 2 to 3. 2 to 3. This means that for every two boys in the class, there are three girls. Also, something I want to point out is, aren't you glad that you don't have that many kids in your class? I know I sure am. <laughs> All right, example one. There were 12 girls and 16 boys in the class. What is the ratio of boys to girls? First, we place the numbers in the correct order. So it's asking boys to girls. So you don't just take the numbers in the order that they appear, you see boys to girls. So there's 16 boys, and remember we write it as a fraction, 12 girls. So we write them in the correct order and of that we are asked, boys to girls. Since we follow the order from top to bottom, which is what it says, uh, where does it say the top to bottom thing? From top to bottom, yeah, I squeezed that word bottom in here. So since we write them from top to bottom, we write boys on top and girls on bottom. Top to bottom, okay? Um, unlike fractions, we do not write ratios as mixed numbers. They're not gonna be mixed numbers because that is not, it's not right. The top number of the ratio may be greater than the bottom number, and that's okay. Don't reduce this, okay? Um, well, yes, you are going to reduce this, but don't make it like 1 and 4 twelfths. Don't do that, okay? Um, as a ratio is always, always, always written as a fraction, not a mixed number, just a fraction. So... We, what can we divide these both by to reduce them? Well, you could start with two, but if you see a higher common factor, then use the greatest common factor, or GCF, which we have learned about. So I'm gonna divide them both by four. All right, to find that my new ratio of boys to girls is four to three. Remember you say it like top number, two bottom number, okay? Four, two, three, which means that for every four boys in the class, you have three girls in the class. The ratio of boys in the class was four to three. Here is an added bonus question that you need to answer. It says, I'm gonna write it in purple. What is the ratio of 
girls to boys. Okay, you don't necessarily need to write this down, but you do need to write the answer and circle it just as I have circled this question. Okay, circle your answer of what is the ratio of boys, girls to boys. Now for your lesson practice. Okay, so here's your directions for A and B. There were 12 prairie dogs and 30 jackrabbits in a section of Texas of the Texas High Plains. What is the ratio, okay, A, what is the ratio of jackrabbits to prairie dogs? B, what is the ratio of prairie dogs to jackrabbits? Remember, order matters. Your directions for C and D, there were eight red socks and 10 blue socks in George's drawer. C, what was the ratio of red socks to blue socks? D, what was the ratio of blue socks to red socks? Thank you. Have a great day.